I'm not, I hope it's not gonna blow up or anything. This is not made for what I'm doing here, so let's see what it does. Hold it with both hands. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hey, what's up guys? We're here at the Dutch Airsoft Association Center here in the Netherlands. Uh, this is like a place where Dutch Airsoft players come and they can test their guns, they can fiddle with them. And they also do like a little target practice and like uh, contact drills over there. Anyway, I've brought some of my collection here today of all the guns that I've used in a video or you have or haven't used in the video yet, but I'll use in the video soon. This is all the stuff that was able to fit in my car. I have still more stuff that I left. Some of the stuff, like I said, you haven't seen yet. Like this, this baby here with the drum mag. So this is a gas blowback Thompson. But now we're gonna, we're gonna start with this. We're gonna start with the minigun. Because I've actually done some fun stuff with the minigun. Uh, you guys are familiar with it, obviously. So this thing is powered by an electrical motor that sits in here, just like the real one uh, that turns the barrels. And then you have the air coming through this air hose system, actually propelling the BBs forward. The motor is powered by this little battery. This is the stock battery. But you know, this little, this little bitch battery doesn't really do it for me. So I wanted to see what happens if we put this thing in. <laughs> All right, let's hook it up, see what it does. I'm kind of scared. I'm not, I hope it's not gonna blow up or anything. This is not made for what I'm doing here, so let's see what it does. Ready? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> That's a lot faster. Come on, come back, man. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That's a lot faster than it was. <laughs> All right, I, I guess that's um, mission accomplished for that project. I hope some field will allow this because this is a little fast. So uh, yeah, I hope I can find a field that'll uh, have us let some fun with this and some players, honestly. <laughs> so this, the next one is the one that you guys haven't seen yet. So this is the, uh, the Thompson, the older version, the one that the Mafia used with a big old drum mag. And uh, this is also a gas blowback version. So it has the, uh, the, the real bolt, realistic bolt. The bolt goes back and forth, rapid fire. I've added the uh, front grip back. So now it's the 1921-1928 uh, version instead of the M1A1, which it started life out as. So there's literally no gas blowback version of this gun. Uh, this is like a custom project. So this is the only one that has a drum mag and has gas blowback. So let's pop in the drum mag and uh, give it a couple of shots, see how it does. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna like wear a full mafia outfit for this one. So uh, yeah, if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe. All right, next one is one of my favorites. It's the Car 98K, which is a completely original Car 98K used during World War II by a German soldier. As you can see, it's quite banged up for, by the person who was using this last. It is a real gun converted to airsoft gun. So what you see here is basically all original. Uh, so original rear sight, front, um, and the receiver and all the working bits inside are basically SSG. So it's converted to fit SSG parts. It's even got the controls here on the outside. This is like an original piece that's cut out, but it's perfect for when, where the hop-up chamber is. So you can even adjust the hop-up from the outside. So let's put this on, pop in a magazine and uh, shoot it a little bit. As I said, it's completely uh, SSG on the inside, so it's very smooth to shoot. I'm gonna try to hit the, um, the helmet there. Hopefully I can hit the helmet in first shot. Bam! With iron sights. This thing is so smooth. I love it. 
Let's go for one way in the back there. Bam. Definitely very different shooting iron sights versus a scope. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. So next one is the sawed off shotgun. It's a double barreled sawed off shotgun and it works exactly like the real one. Little shells here. So the bottom is gas. This bit is gas. This bit is where the BB goes in. And uh, yeah, you just pop them in. And of course you can do the, sla the classic slap shot with this thing. And then you have two triggers actually. So you can see here there's two triggers. One is for one barrel and the other one is for the other barrel. So then you can shoot them independently. Or if you hold it with both hands, you can shoot it both the barrel at the same time. <laughs> so it's actually pretty loud as well for a gas uh, for a gas gun. Bam! <laughs> Two shells. As the sidearm is not that practical because it's it is very very heavy, um, and there's no holster obviously for this thing. So you're literally gonna have to like stuff it down your pants or something, and just walk around like this. But uh, it works. All right. So next one is the uh, the M14. The M14 DMR version that I changed it to because I added the uh, the cheek riser here. I've also got this rail here to turn into a proper DMR so you could put a scope on it and everything. So this is a gas blowback, realistic M14. It's got these giant magazines. Normally they hold 20 rounds. This one holds like 25, I believe. It's not that much actually. Um, but yeah, you pop one in here and then you connect your HPA line. So now what you do is you just load one into the chamber and I hope I can shoot it with this helmet on. Well, it doesn't seem to be very easy. also has the full auto option so there's a little switch here and then you can turn it to full auto empty I love the realistic bolt the sound of it it sounds powerful there's metal on metal clanging one of my prized possessions in my collection and I should mention that uh, both the Thompson and the M14 are both made by Swit Airsoft. Or they're not made by it, but like they're upgraded, fully upgraded. They're not going to break. You can get them at SwitAirsoft.com. So check them out. That's where I get all my really cool like Cold War 1920 stuff. I also have an RCXD. As you can see here, it's a massive RC truck that has got like a, a whole platform here that I use to mount cameras and uh, this landmine. Where are you doing? <laughs> it also had like a live camera system where you can basically control the car from uh, from very far away around corners like outside of buildings to inside of buildings so next one is one that you guys haven't seen yet either is this teeny tiny little pistol <laughs> this is also from by Swit Airsoft by the way so it's uh, pre-upgraded and it actually works it's a gas blowback this thing works just like the real thing so you have like this teeny tiny slide. Yeah, it's like a eight to ten centimeter, which is like a respectable size for, for guns, of course. Uh, <laughs> pistol. <laughs> so let's pop in a little magazine. Oh, it's so cute. Does it work like this? Let me see. It does, and it's cycled. Oh god, it's so inaccurate. And there it is. That's your seven rounds. But this thing is actually made after the Colt 25, which is a real gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really interested how this thing actually does if we're gonna put it up as uh, in a real airsoft game. But um, it's not very powerful, so I hope they'll actually know what the status going on. <laughs> Let's quickly go over my SSG actually, because I've changed quite a bit on it 
since the last time you guys may have saw it, seen it. I'm now running an L96 stock, a little different mag pouch here. So it's actually not the pouch because it doesn't fit on an L96, but it's like a 3D printed piece that fits these as the G magazines very easily. So you can swap magazines super, super fast. Like that. If you're looking to choose something at very, very far ranges, like very, see like that little orange thing way in the back there. I bet I can hit it from here. <laughs> so there you go. If you're looking for something super long range and accurate and reliable, um, yeah, my choice definitely is still the SSG24. So this is actually my shotgun of choice if I was gonna run a full size shotgun. It is a uh, gas operated shotgun, so there's no spring, no anything inside. Okay. Gas stored in the back. You got these shells here on this side. Pop them out. Open the little hatch on the bottom. Pop in your shell. Close the hatch. I should also mention, you can change it from three to six shots at a time. So if you want to conserve some ammo, you can use three shots. Desert Eagle, fully metal. Gas blowback, of course. Um, has a heavy slide, so it really kicks when you're firing this thing. That's... Uh, I love how accurate this thing is, like it has a long, quite a long inner barrel. Very accurate actually for, for longer ranges. We got a uh, Walter P38 that I used with the um, Car 98K. This was the real workhorse of the Wehrmacht in the uh, World War II. Got some of the uh, pretty cool markings here as well, like got like the German Eagle and everything. Obviously this is like just a completely an airsoft gun, it's not uh, like a conversion of a real P38 or something like that, like the uh, Car 98. Let's see what it does. Oh, this is actually one of my favorites. This is my High Kappa Extreme, fastest firing guns that I uh, that I have. Actually, fastest firing pistol for sure because everything, the slide is all plastic. Uh, all the bits in here are plastic, but it's not to say that it's bad. Plastic actually means good because the slide will move back and forth really, really fast. Pop in a magazine. <laughs> As you can see, a really fast firing little pistol. We have uh, the Glock, Glock Fade. This is a skin that I that I have uh, on there for the Glock Fade. It's also on my web shop. If you, want, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to my web shop down in the description. And let's try it on full auto, of course, as the full fun mode. And it's already empty because <laughs> you're gonna go through a mag like this very very fast on full auto. Obviously, we have my my tried and true SS SSP1. It's a CO2 powered pistol. Everything is metal on here, so it's a metal outer barrel. As you can see, is the fluted one. So fluted outer barrel. Uh, the cut slide, so it saves some weight. The slide is actually 10% lighter than the, st than the stock slide, so that makes it cycle a lot faster. It also has the short stroke pistol or short stroke kit in it. This means faster, faster follow-up shots. If you really want to scare somebody, this thing is so loud that they're just going to call hits even if they're not hit because it's it's that loud. So here we go. So you can see the fire rate of this thing is just ridiculously fast. And uh, if you wanna, if you wanna really wanna snipe somebody with a pistol, this is the one to do it. By far the best pistol in my collection. This is a gun that I don't use very, very often, but it's my Chris Vector. It's an AEG version, so this is actually not the gas blowback that I wanted to have, but the gas blowbacks are super, super rare. But for what it is, it's still a very, very nice uh, little submachine gun. These are the, these are the magazines for it. 
And of course, it's got some mods going in here. I've got like a little silencer on it. Bipod, because why not? Probably take off the, the bipod, but like the silencer and the red dot, definitely uh, one of the better ones. The silencer is actually a working silencer, suppressor. Um, it does actually make the gun a lot more quiet than it normally is. But let's shoot it a little bit on full auto. And it doesn't like, it's not as realistic as some of the gas blowback ones because you don't have to like use the charging handle to cycle the bolt back, for example, stuff like that. But for what it is, it's a really good gun. This is all the other stuff that I have here laying around in my little workshop. One of the bigger ones that I have, the Barrett 50 Cal. HPA powered Barrett. So it's like she, like the, the, the air goes in here. You have like a giant tank of air on, on your back. It's a massive gun. Also a custom project because this thing is upgraded to the max. So this has an, like an insane amount of range. And you can indefinitely like turn up the power on this thing. So if you want to shoot really, 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 really far, then you could with this thing. Commanding like that, I think. Obviously the uh, Op Hyper Beast that we have on the web shop, on the Silo uh, Airsoft web shop. Definitely one of my favorite because it looks so, so good. Like the vibrant colors and the whole decal looks amazing. Here's what the Asimov looks like. Also a very cool like recreation of what's in uh, the video game Counter-Strike. I've got the uh, Modify Honey Badger. So it's like an M4 with a um, a uh, very short stock. You can collapse the stock like this. And that's the whole gun, like it's a very short gun altogether. AK is actually an AK-74 modernized version. That is what the real, real life counterpart is. Very nice and reliable AK actually, that I uh, give to all the people that play with me. The M4, that with a really cool fancy uh, graphic on it. This is the ICS CXP. Um, also customized because it has a high speed motor in this, so it's, the fire rate is extremely, extremely fast. Uh, this one are both used by the German SWAT officer. I'm also quite a big fan of AKs out of M4 because pretty much the entire world and the grandma has an M4, so I prefer guns that are a little bit out of the ordinary. And then last but not least, I got this really cool G&G Springfield. Uh, M1903. It doesn't have like the scope attachments and like the whole the, the, the stuff that you need on this thing for the scope but it is a gas operated gun so the bolt stays open there's no spring there's no nothing really close to what the real one uh, would function like. This is pretty much a one-to-one -one replica so uh, haven't played with it yet just because I can't really mount the scope on here and that's kind of my thing like you know playing the sniper role. Should bring it out on the field soon if I could find like a matching uniform to go with the whole Springfield thing. But it is a really cool, really cool piece. So I guess that's it for my weapon collection. I also have like a bunch of pistols laying down there, but it's just there's too much to go through. So I guess we're gonna end it here. Um, thank you for watching and make sure to check out the links below in the description for all the videos on all the weapons that I've made over the years. And be sure to subscribe for the ones that I haven't yet. Ha ha ha!